Thank you for tuning in. My name is Josh. I use Van Sans for What Would Josh Do? And this is an updated video to Titanium Backup. There has been tons and tons and tons of changes since my initial video. And it was very important that I do this video. A lot of people have been asking questions like, how come I can't do a batch restore or backup anymore? You can't, it's just completely different. Open up Titanium Backup. And see, there was an update. There are constantly updates for Titanium Backup. Every single time you open your Play Store, you're gonna see an update where they fixed this, fixed that, added this, added that, updated translations, fixed translations, supported new translation. There's always gonna be updates for this app. So there's always gonna be little changes here and there. Right now I'm clearing my filter, and I did that in an initial video. Before, you had a Sync to Dropbox button, and people asked me, how do you Sync to Dropbox? Because it is completely different now. Basically, you just click on here, and this is your batch backup and restore process. If you want to backup all your apps, you just press Run. If you want to restore your missing apps with data, if you have new ROM, just press Run. All the same options as before, maybe added things, but it's the same way. It's just you no longer press Menu and Batch that is completely different. And a lot of people have problems with Dropbox. That's pretty simple. You press Menu, Preferences, and then you enable Dropbox, or Google Drive, or Box.net. You can enable just one, or you can enable all three. It's up to you. Now when you go to your Schedules tab, you'll see these extra options here. And you can just press Run, and then if it's your first time, it'll ask you to log into Dropbox. So just press Log In, and press Allow you no longer have to actually sign into your Dropbox account. And then it'll take whatever you have on your phone and upload it. Or if it's not on your phone, it'll download it. Go ahead and cancel that by pressing the back button. Process canceled by user. So now it's no longer on the overview, it's on the schedules tab. Remember that. And if you're trying to look for a certain thing, just press on click to edit filters, and then press in there and start typing what you want, like Nova. It'll automatically start suggesting things if it knows that it's on your internal or external SD card. And that's another thing. A lot of phones these days, like this, the Evo 4 GLTE, and multiple other devices, they now have internal and external storage. Just press Menu, Preferences, Backup Folder Location, and then press Detect. If you currently have a folder like if you took your SD card out of your old phone and put it in this phone, you'll have to press that and it'll scan and it'll find where you have your Titanium Backup folder at. And then you press use current folder and now it's on the SD card, which is great because if you happen to have a 16 gig version of this, but you have a 32 gig SD card, it's obviously better to store it on the 32 gig SD card. That's another thing. If you go to backup and you got very far in something like, let's say Reckless Racing, and you earn, say, $15,000 and you want to buy a new car, but maybe that car sucks and you want to go back and have your $15,000 and purchase a different car because th that one sucked and you felt you wasted your money on it. You can just tap on the current save or any of them and press protect this backup. And now it's protected. If you have your stuff saved to the internal SD card, it will not let you protect it. It'll say failed because it's not using the FAT32 file system. It's using MTP and emulating a storage device. So make sure that you're storing everything on your external SD card if you're able to. If you're not able to, you won't be able to protect your current backups as of now. And like before in the old video, if you protect it, it frees up an additional slot so you don't waste anything. If you happen to run a batch restore and you back up everything all over again, your old protected backup will still be in there permanently until you unprotect it. Check this out. Open up Switch Key. Go to Stats. 43,000 keystrokes. Go on this phone real quick. Swift key is not on this device at all. So check this out. I'm gonna create a filter for Swift key. And I actually got a little bit further. I just I need to restore my data real quick. Now my stats should be a little bit higher. A little bit. 
Okay. I can long press on swift key, choose send latest backup, and then app and data easy import. And then I'll go ahead and put it on Dropbox. And then upload. Alright, com.touchtype. It is uploaded. So now I can go over to this device. Open up the Dropbox folder. Refresh. There it is, right there. I can just press on it. And then once it's done downloading, Titanium Backup should pop up. And it should ask me if I want to import it. I'm going to grant permission to Titanium Backup. I'm going to choose the app and the data since I don't have it right now. So now that's done. We should go to our app drawer. And there it is, with key 3. It's going to ask us to enable it, so just check on it, press OK, press back, choose Swift key, and when I press on stats, you should see, yep, right there, the same exact data from this phone was on this phone, and it took maybe a total of three clicks to get it from there to there. That is something that is freaking invaluable. So if you were to take that TIKB backup file and put it in your public folder and share that link with somebody, if they clicked on it on their phone, you could even download the file to your SD card or you can share it in a Dropbox folder with somebody and they can just press on it like I did. You don't actually have to download it to use it, but you can. You can upload it to any website you want to, have someone download it or just open it from an email and they have the same exact data you have. This is beneficial if you're in a game, for example, a game my brother couldn't get past Dragonfly on a certain level, so, and I happen to beat that level, go ahead and download it, open it, and here we are in the tutorial, so obviously for the tutorial, we haven't made any progress at all. Now we go to the real game, and as you see, we have absolutely nothing. We can back out, press this button, exit, go to our stats. We don't even have a name. That's how new this is. We just started it. So here's what we do. And we'll just do it all over again. Filters, dragon, fly, hold on it, send latest backup, data import. Could just do data if you wanted to since you already have the app installed. So just Dropbox, upload, and then there's the top. It's sending just one simple file. Just one file. It's done. And since I did my previous video, it no longer force closes apps when you're backing them up. There we go. There's the game. We'll just press on it. Wait for it to load. We already have the apps. All we gotta do is data only and then press OK. So it's done. We can open it up again. And we should have more progress this time. Uh, I can already tell I do. Look at the stats. Continue. There you go. There's my stats. I can go back. All my potions. I have a lot of potions because if you have root access, you can modify your game data and that's a completely different video by itself. So look, I have tons and tons and tons of potions. I'm like, I have the ultimate guy, everything. And all I had to do was send my backup. This could have been your brother's phone, your mom's phone, anybody else's phone, and you just sent them the latest and greatest backup where you got to the last level and you beat it and everything. So this is incredibly useful. Something that I just cannot fail to mention at all is I have had issues where I backed up my complete ROM using Torp Recovery or a different custom recovery, but I did not back up my latest app. And I got pretty far in something and I beat a level that was extremely hard for me to beat. So what I had to do was back up my current ROM, restore my old one, back up that app, and then restore my newer backup of my ROM, and then restore the app data 
from a game like Plants vs. Zombies where I beat a level that was really hard to beat. All that trouble just to restore something because you forgot to back up all your apps using the batch restore option before switching ROMs. They have made that really, really easy. Press menu, go down here, extract from the Android backup. And here are all my backups. This was back when I originally rooted my device and it came with Clockwork Mod Recovery by default. I can go to my main ROM that I got from my Evo 4G LTE, press on it, takes a second depending on how big your backup is. A Cinch ROM is much, much bigger than a ROM like this that's based around CyanogenMod. There we go. There is all the apps and system data that we got from our Nandroid backup that we created with our Evo 4G LTE and we just took that SD card and put it in here. So now if I had an app on there that I didn't upload to Dropbox or something, I can just go through here and pick out stuff I want, like Clipper. Say I had copied something in my clipboard and that was right after I'd already done a previous backup of all apps and data and uploaded it to Dropbox. So it was only on the phone and nowhere else. I can just press on it and then I can press this little checkbox and it'll restore it. If I want to do just the data, I can press data only and it'll only restore the data since we currently have the app on the phone. If we don't have the app on the phone, we can press app and data. If you happen to want to restore the app, because say you're in an area without a signal or your 3G completely just is slower than molasses, you can restore just the app and start it from scratch. You can just go through here and start checking on stuff that you want to restore from your Android backup. And again, it works with both Twerk and Clockwork Mod Recovery. Something that's pretty useful is market tools. First one we're going to start with is the update helper. Basically what this does is if you ever go into your market, press menu, my apps, and then there was an app there that said there was an update, but you couldn't update it. You click on it and it said open or uninstall. What this will do is it'll pop up a little box that says update all. So that way like if you press on it and it says open or uninstall, and you go back and you press on it again and then it says open or uninstall you go back I'm sure all of us have been there at one point in time you can just go to my apps and then press update all and it'll force that to update destroy all market links is pretty useful because before the Android market updates the Google Play Store if you had installed an app using the Amazon App Store or another marketplace it would bug you and bug you and bug you to update, but you couldn't update with the Google Play Store or the Android Market because you purchased it from another place. And you can just press destroy all market links, but we're not going to do that. <laughs> oh, I have some apps that aren't said to automatically get updated. And I like apps that get automatically updated. I like having the latest version of things. If you have Dropbox set to more than one backup, you press on it and there are multiple backups in here. There's been a whole lot of things like integrate system Dalvik into ROM, clean up Dalvik cache. A lot of these have been in here for a while. Import backup, T-I-B-K-P. That's if you have it on the SD card and you want to just press on it. It'll ask you where it's at. You can go to ES File Explorer and you can navigate to your internal or external SD card wherever you happen to put it. And on a lot of devices, it'll be named like EXT SD, like on the Evo 4G LTE. Go to favorites, and then there's the external SD card right there. So this is a little bit different on the Galaxy S3. I'm about ready to wrap up this video, trust me. These are some new things as well. You can reboot the device. Now that we've created the widget, we can just press on it, and we can choose whether we want to go into recovery, or if we want to do a reboot. If you reboot the device, it forces it to instantly reboot. It doesn't do the full shutdown process. I will demonstrate. Device just vibrated. There's the boot up screen. And there you go. That was really, really quick. If you're having issues, and you need to reboot your device in an emergency, and you don't want to wait for it to fully reboot, or if you don't have the reboot option on your ROM, you can just create a widget and reboot your device whenever you need to without waiting for it to do a full shutdown and then powering it up. Like I said, this about wraps the video up. Those are the major changes. If that's doing that, that means it's currently going through your apps 
and it's getting everything set up and ready to go. So wait for that to finish before you try to do anything else. On pretty much all ice cream sandwich devices and above, you should see the little batch button up there. If you don't see it up there, then you can still press menu and choose batch. That's probably for people that are using gingerbread or below. But like I said, if you're running ice cream sandwich, jelly bean, or higher, by the time you watch this, it should be up here at the top. And if you have an Evo Forge LTE, where you don't have a physical menu button, the little menu button will be up there because Titania Backup is ICS compliant and there won't be a little menu bar there at all times. See, none of my apps are showing up just yet because it's still waiting for it to refresh. If you like this video, please do me a huge favor and give it a thumbs up by clicking the like button. If you're new to my channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button. It'll notify you when I post new videos. If you're wondering how you root your device, I have videos on all sorts of different devices including the Evo Forge LTE, Evo 3D, Galaxy Nexus, Samsung Galaxy S3, Transformer Prime, HP Touchpad. Again, please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel for future videos. This is what Josh do and I'm out.